G'day guys, welcome to Yana Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And I know it has been a minute. It's been quite some time since I've uploaded a video and I do apologise. I've had so much going on. Some of it great, some of it not so great, but look, that's a completely separate video. Quite some time ago, what feels like a million releases ago, Colourpop brought out one of those um, uh, Biop palettes but made it into like a rainbow palette and I saw that and I didn't have anything like that at the time and I thought, you know what, I want to make my own. So that's what I did. I um, got on their site when they had one of those um, Biop sales and I made my own sort of kind of rainbow palette, sort of the colours that I wanted. And what I thought I would do with you guys today is sort of like a shop my stash. Like if you were interested in buying some of Colourpop's eyeshadows but you'd never really like tested them out or anything like that, I thought that I would show you the shades that I have, which are these guys here. And I would put them on my eyes and tell you what they look like. And you can see for yourself how they perform. What I'm going to do is I am going to use a um, concealer base on my eyes uh, before every application. I'm going to use a packing brush to pat it down um, and build up the colour. And then I'm going to use a blending brush and I'm going to buff it out a little bit in the crease. So you can see how it works with both things. So if you guys are interested in seeing this, stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Alright, so look, I'm not going to ramble on too much, but uh, what I am going to say is the reason why I brought this particular Colourpop palette is because I live in a small town, and if you're anything like me, especially in Australia, um, our towns, you know, will have a few department stores, and some, don't get me wrong, drugstore makeup is nice, but um, when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, nothing really compares to being able to buy um, like American brands or indie brands or just popular brands online. So um, if we go into our drugstore, we've got like Maybelline and L'Oreal, CoverGirl, um, Essence, you know, and just things like that, Bare Minerals. And whilst they are fabulous in some things, for example, uh, Maybelline is great with their liquid lipsticks. Um, well, just their lipsticks in general and their um, concealer formula. L'Oreal, I personally love their foundations. Um, CoverGirl and Essence for their mascaras. You know, just things like that. But when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, they're horrible. Um, there are some exceptions to the rule. Um, Chi Chi bring out a couple that are okay here and there. Like, they're not too bad. But, you know, if we want palettes, we're looking at things like... BYS or just your Maybelline palettes and everything like that and there's not really a lot of good color payoff with any of those palettes in my personal opinion and you know if you don't know any different it's whatever you know you just think that makeup's not as good you know um, and you wonder how you know these Instagram models end up looking fabulous and we just we just move on but I found Colourpop and I splashed out with them they were cheap um, and it's just changed my game so and I've started to realize since trying Colourpop that there are other brands out there that are even better than Colourpop but these guys are affordable and you get a lot of bang for your buck I love their pre-made palettes they're absolutely fabulous I've got quite a few of them if you want me to do this kind of same video as well um, I will just let me know in the comments below but today we're gonna do this one so without further ado let's get swatching
right guys, that concludes all of the swatches of every single shade in this palette that I have. Now I know that a lot of the colours look very very similar, like I've got a row of sort of like pinky neutrals and you know a couple of oranges, a row of purples, row of blues, row of greens, row of yellows. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put um, the side by side comparisons of all the similar shades coming up next so you guys can have a look. Um, those shadows as far as I'm concerned, every single one of them was buildable. Um, I didn't have too much problem with any of them as you saw. Um, and the only thing is, is that the bright pink and um, the purples and the deeper blues, they do do a little bit of staining. Um, I did have a little bit of eye irritation, but that wasn't because of the shadows. That was because I chose to use wipes to take the um, eyeshadow off. And when I was using the Maybelline um, Age Rewind over the top of that, it was reacting with something that are in these um, Mamiya wipes that I just picked up from Aldi. So, um... Yeah, so anyway, maybe not such a great idea. I don't normally like using wipes on my face at all anyway. But I hope that helped you guys. And um, yeah, give Colourpop a go. I think they're absolutely fantastic. It has inspired me to pull this out a little bit more because I hadn't touched it. And it's been... Whew, it, it, it's been a while. It's been... I, I think I've had it for at least... I want to say a month and a half, two months now, so I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to start using it a bit more. And um, yeah, I hope it was helpful. If it was helpful, go ahead, feel free, give me a thumbs up. It um, lets me know that you like seeing these kinds of videos. And if you're not part of the family yet and you want to subscribe and you want to see more videos like that, I don't put up as many videos as I would like to, but I am working on that. I've had so much going on, guys, with camera equipment and... Uh, it's been interesting. If you want to know more, let me know and um, I'll do another video about what's been going on. But yeah, guys, I really enjoyed making these videos for you and um, yeah, let's chat below. Bye.